Hey guys, hope you're all good. I know it's been a while. I'm just gonna go straight into it. So for this small feed and braid tutorial, we need a needle thread holder for quick access to the hair. You also need shine and jam and a rat tail comb. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm just parting a small section of hair at the back. And that's because I like uh, my small feed and braids to be quite full. I don't like it when it's applied all the way to the back as well because sometimes it can pull at the back of the hair which can lead to breakage. So I literally just sectioned a small part. And now I am going to start my braids. So I'm going to braid very very small sections of hair. I go in with my shine and gem and my rat tail comb. I take a fairly generous amount. And then I'm going to start applying it to the roots of the section that we parted and the other part as well. The reason why I put it on this part is to just rid any flyaways because one of the most annoying things is when flyaways get stuck or caught in your cane and it just makes it look not as clean as it as it should. I also um, comb some of the shine and jam through the hair because it just enables a more sleek and shiny braid. So my client, who's also my little sister, requested some leave out for baby hairs. So that's why I've left out that part. Um, so I'm going to just start. I begin by just doing a normal braid, normal cornrow. So I'm just going to start cornrowing. And then I cornrow about one, two, three, four four to five or well, four to six times just to get things going then I'm going to hold that grip reach for a piece of hair which is a very very skinny piece of hair because it needs to be a small grey so we need a very small thin piece of hair put that piece in between my thumb and my index finger leaving a small hole then I place it underneath the cane row and then I basically start to corner it all together. I think this is one of those styles that you get mainly by practicing and watching. I can explain, um, but it's a pretty straightforward technique. But watching it, I think, will make you grasp the concept a lot better. So I'm just going to continue to do this in real time so that you can kind of follow the motion of my fingers, um, understand where the hair's being placed, understand how I'm grabbing and, and the grip and everything. I'm braiding the hair all the way down you can see I'm adding a bit of shine and jam just to continue to allow it to be smooth with no flyaways mm -hmm. 
So I'm doing the same thing again. Please ensure your parts are really, really sharp and straight. It takes me a while to get this because I just want it to look really, really sharp. So even if it means taking a bit of time to ensure sharp parting, just do that. And I'm um, using your rat tail comb to do that is helpful as well. So I'm just gonna do the same thing. And what I usually do is one on each side so that it's even by the time I get to the middle. But for the purpose of the video, I decided to just show you about two or three on the same side. Then I switched to the other side and did three um, so that it was just even. Then I kept working my way towards the middle till, till there was one left. And it's very important to do that because if you kind of just start like this and keep doing it from the left all the way onto the other side, you'll notice that the middle might look a bit wonky or it might just look a bit uneven. Um, that's just me some people might be able to do it um, the same direction the whole way but I prefer to keep switching sides So I'm coming back to the little section that I parted at the beginning of the video and what I do is I just do four single plaits and that just enables that when the hair is out it just looks a bit fuller um, I mean you don't have to do this but I just prefer a fuller look when the hair is left down or if you put it in a ponytail it just makes a ponytail a lot fuller also prevents snagging at the back of the hair because there's no pulling from the corners. So just a quick reminder about what I explained before. I'm now moved to the other side of the head, 
so that by the time we get to the middle middle the lines look straight and it just looks more uniform so you can do one on each side of the head or you can do two or three at a time K.O. Okay, so now I'm on the last braid um, and this is what I was speaking about before. It's in the middle and as you can see all the lines are straight, doesn't look wonky and everything just looks very uniform. K.O. Okay, so off camera, I dipped her hair in hot water, the ends of hair in hot water, and I also, we also did her baby hairs. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys like it. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video.